The people of Mexico are left picking up the pieces of destruction El Chapo left behind. Haley Ott traveled to Mexico to speak with some of the families who lost their loved ones in the ongoing drug war about the lengths they're going to to find the bodies. This group in western Mexico is hunting for hidden graves. Each person is looking for a loved one who's missing and possibly dead, all victims of this country's rising cartel violence. Maria's son was taken earlier this year. The rates of murders and disappearances here are the highest ever since records began. Cartels have been in Mexico for decades, but bloodshed has spiked as the gangs fracture and fight for territory. And Mexican institutions are struggling to keep up. In September, Guadalajara's morgue was completely full, so workers put 273 bodies in a refrigerated truck and left it behind this street of houses. Terence Aruglu, who lives here, said it smelled like death. O sea, por la puerta estaba sellada con candado y estaba escurriendo sangre. But the morgue director, who was later fired, called it a symptom of a larger problem. Sigue habiendo más cuerpos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Mass graves are often discovered in Guadalajara, hidden in abandoned buildings in neighborhoods like this one. Dozens of bodies have been found in the last few months alone. The graves hold answers to what's become of some of the missing, but the government doesn't consistently search for them, leaving that gruesome job to family members of the disappeared. Today, the group in Nayarit in western Mexico got a tip about a site outside of town. They found graves here before. And they think another one may be hidden in a nearby sugarcane field. Maria begins the search by pushing a metal rod into ground that appears flattened. She smells it. If bodies are buried here, it will smell like human remains. No, no hay nada. Es duro, es feo, es fuerte esto, lo que está uno pasando por sus hijos. Y se siente uno, pues una familia, una familia, porque nadie comprende el dolor de uno más que nosotros lo que los, lo estamos viviendo. Today, there are no answers, but Maria will keep looking, exposing the toll of cartel violence just beneath the surface. Haley Ott, CBS News, Mexico.